Hi, my name is Sarah Jimenez. Um, I go by she, her, um, and forgive me, just moving my screen around. Um, I'm really excited to help facilitate the Canopy program um, this year. Um, between January and the fall 2024, um, there'll be 10 artists um, and we're gonna have quite a few visitors who I'm super excited by and who I respect deeply. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. Um, I mainly work in installation. Within the installation, I have different collaborations with musicians and dancers, um, but I would say right now, a lot of the core of my work um, is sculptural, um, but the material that I use in the different sculptures vary over time. I've had a big chapter of textiles. I'm recently obsessed with ceramics. Um, I've had another chapter of paper collage um, and plaster. Um, a lot of my work, I say the umbrella of it has to do with um, looking at um, revealing, processing less visible histories of a place. Um, sometimes for me that has manifested in being asked to do a site specific project where I'll research the history of that site and create um, a visual language based on what I um, find out about the site um, based on um, marginalized stories from that site, um, or it manifests in a more autobiographical way, in a more ancestral way, where um, I look at stories, myths, histories, written and unwritten narratives from my family, my father's from the Philippines. Um, and I also have looked at colonial textbooks um, written about the Philippines, um, anthropological photos, um, because a lot of the, most of the documentation um, has been from the colonial lens. And so I'm really interested in taking that documentation and rearranging it and deconstructing it and creating new meaning out of it um, through my visual language. Um, most recently, I've been looking at a lot of pre-colonial histories um, through artifacts, um, through mythologies and oral tradition, through textile patterns, um, through the histories of migration and um, the centuries of trade happening within Southeast Asia prior to um, any European coming to that area. Um, so yeah, a lot of my content comes from these places. Um, I teach at different places as well. I teach at Parsons, I've taught at NYU. Um, I've worked with graduate students at SVA. And um, for me, um, being in dialogue with other artists is a privilege and an honor. Um, I see us as colleagues. Um, and I think that the most important thing about a space where conversation happens around art is um, active listening, um, being able to really hold space and hear and see each other and the work. I don't believe that work is made in a linear way. I don't think that we always know consciously ahead of time, even if we have set out to do something, sometimes what visually manifests is something different. And I don't think that means that it's um, meant to be something else. Sometimes um, our unconscious creates things, pieces together things and produces a visual object or image that then needs to tell us something about um, the world that we're discovering, the worlds that we are interested in. And so sometimes the process happens in reverse. And so I think that being in a critique setting really has to do with um, active listening. And I think it's the hardest thing to do and the most important thing to do. Um, 
I think that there are many different kinds of knowledge. Um, and I think that there are many specific kinds of histories of aesthetics. Um, and so I don't really believe it's about whether we like something or not, um, or what is popular or what other people are doing right now. I think for me, it's really about trying to step away from those paradigms to assess or even the idea of assessing and instead finding a way to um, be super present and help one another dig deeper and reflect back what we see in here. Um, I've already run out of time. So I want to just quickly, I'll point you to my website and the other amazing cultural producers that you will be seeing, visiting with this year. Um, here's my website. Um, sometimes I work, this is an example of a site-specific work. Um, this is the most recent installation that I did at Rachel Uffner Gallery. Um, in the background, my Zoom is showing this installation that I did at Smack Melon, which has an audio component. I collaborated with a musician from Finland to create this volcanic rumbling inside of this space. Um, if you have any questions specifically for me, you're welcome to email me, uh, message me. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go into detail about each of these, but you have my website information. Some of the amazing artists that we are gonna look at together and that is gonna are gonna come and visit. One is Maya Cruz Palaleo, an incredible painter and sculptor. Another artist is Amina Ross. This is an example of an installation that they did at Wave Hill. Another artist is Helena Metaferia. Um, she works in collage, um, but also in performance. And um has amazing live and video pieces um, that you can see on her website. We're gonna get a visit from Rebecca Chozik, who's a director at Rachel Uffner Gallery, which is in the Lower East Side. We're going to have a visit from Gabrielle de Guzman, who is the lead curator and director at Wave Hill, which is in the Bronx and has an amazing residency and exhibition program. Um, and I think that is it for now. So I really looking, I'm, excuse me, I'm really looking forward to working with you um, and to meeting you and being with you in person.